Hello, it is 8 a.m. on April 1st, 2016, and I have been a bit remiss in making these videos. I set myself a goal to make a video every single day for a year to um, just do kind of like capture my life, what mattered to me each day, kind of just to document my own existence for my own self-interest so that I could um, reflect back at the end of that time period and be like, oh, this is what mattered to me in late November and it's not relevant to me at all. Or conversely, this is what mattered to me in late November and it's still very pressing and weighty and weighs on my mind. So um, it was kind of like my own little mini social <laughs> experiment on myself um, as opposed to, you know, a relevant social experiment experiment which would have uh, a much larger sample size and probably track, I don't know, have like a couple thousand people record a video every day for a year and then compare and see and look at how things change, what matters um, in people's existence, those sorts of things that I find relevant and interesting and don't get to explore in my work life because nobody pays money for it. So <laughs> that was the whole reason why I was making these and I haven't like made a video for like three weeks I don't I don't even know um, I just kind of like dropped off my agenda as something that I should actually continue to do so I'm gonna stop being so remiss and actually do this but I did I did do a lot of like clips of things happening in my life like I recorded a bunch of videos of my not gentlemen um, goofing around on a playground we went to a picnic an Easter picnic and had an Easter egg hunt and dyed Easter eggs and like swing on swung on swings and played on the playground equipment like we were children. It was awesome. It was really fun. Um, that was Saturday. I also went on a four mile hike on Saturday. It was like a picnic hike. My friend um, came to visit me and we walked two miles out and had bagels and tea and fruit <laughs> for our picnic. And then we walked two miles back. So it was like four miles round trip with a hour long picnic in the middle. It was absolutely wonderful. That was Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon was the um, Easter lunch uh, picnic, two picnics in one day. And then I had a party. I went out to dinner with friends and then I went to a party in the evening. So Saturday was kind of jammed. All of last week was kind of jammed because my son was on spring break and he was with his father for the entirety of it. So I was like, do everything. I am child free. I will live a wild, crazy, single, child free life for a week. And at the end of the week, I'll be like, oh, my God, where is my child? I need to sleep. <laughs> I'm not cut out for the wild and crazy, but I did do something every single day last week, like every single night. I started on Saturday, went out on Saturday, was gone Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was Easter. And then I did something on Monday too because I had one person who um, requested some extra time with me. Um, and so I went and did an event with just them, which was really fun, really fun, um, really fun time. I, just really busy though, <laughs> like you can see where I wasn't. And then yesterday my mother was her wonderful, tactful self and was like, you need to sleep more. You've got these dark circles under your eyes. And I was like, thanks, mom. Yeah, I've been out doing stuff. Haven't been sleeping much. You're right. I should probably sleep. Thanks for telling me I look haggard. I probably do, though. I probably do look a little bit thrashed because of last week. But um, it's the end of the next week. I have done moderate things this week. Barely done anything. Um, just went out on Monday and I'm going out tonight. I'm going out with my coworker. We're having like a little mini team building event, just her and I, and we're going to go get, go to a, a spa and then out to dinner and it's going to be really fun. I'm going to get a facial. So maybe these dark circles will go away. <laughs> so I will get a facial and a body scrub and then go out for amazing food and then, um, Saturday, I'm meeting up with my best friend. We're going to go pick up our packets for the Carlsbad 5K. And then Sunday, I'm running the Carlsbad 5K. And I'll be like, why? Why did I say I would do this? I can I can walk such long distances. You want me to walk 10, 12 miles? Sure. I'm your girl. I can do 10, 12 miles up a hill. No problem. It will be grand. You want me to run three miles? Are you shitting me? <laughs> I don't. I don't like the running. 
and I'm doing it two times in a row because I said I would do the Carlsbad 5k again and then I also said I would do the um, Triton 5k which is for UCSD alumni which of which I am one um, I did some post graduate work with them but not like graduate work with them Does, uh, anyway I got a professional degree from them so I am a UCSD alum as long, along with a Mills alum um, and so I told my friends I would go do this with them and I didn't realize that those two races were back to back so like the only two 5Ks I'm doing the entire 2016 is are on consecutive weekends. <laughs> I was like, what? What sort of shitty planning on my part was that? That like, I'm only running two, two 5Ks in the entire year and they are back to back. Back to back. That's terrible. Absolutely horrible kind of like my hair right now. I need to cut it again. I don't know what it's doing. It's going all crazy. Look at it. Crazy. It's like wrapping around weirdly. <laughs> it's like I have a hair collar. Ugh. Okay. I have talked long enough. Um. Oh, do you like my new top? Look at it. It's so pretty. I got it from Stitch Fix. It came last night. I did that thing where I did my entire Stitch Fix again where I was like, okay, well, I'll just pick out one or two things that I really, really like and I'll only buy those because money. And then it came and I was like, must own all of it. What to do? What to do? Oh, bought it all. <laughs> and then was like, oh, God. But it's all so cute. But I did not need to spend that much money. But it's all so cute. Oh my god, it's so hard. It's so hard to be a girl in the world and have amazing things shipped to your house. And then you're just supposed to practice restraint. Like, if I'm in a shop, I won't pick it up. I'll be like, oh, that's really cute. But I'm not spending money today, so I'm not going to try it on. But if it just comes to my house and it's in my size and it's my own style that I adore, like navy blue polka dots. <laughs> How am I supposed to say no? Anyway, um, advertisement there for Stitch Fix if you want to spend copious amounts of money um, on a semi-regular basis and get super cute things, Stitch Fix. <laughs> and on that note, I'm done.